The federal government's unveiled draft regulations on Monday that will impose a greenhouse gas cap on the oil and gas sector that limits emissions to 35 percent below 2019 levels. Canada's oil and gas sector will have four years to phase in that reduction. Environment Minister Stephen Guibault says the cuts will drive innovation and create jobs, but not everyone is in agreement with that statement. Crystal Wittevrangel is the Director of Research at the Montreal Economic Institute, an independent public policy think tank. She joins us now from her office in Calgary. Crystal, how many jobs do you think this plan could cost Canadians? Well, it's estimated that by 2040, over 113,000 jobs will be lost across this country, over 60% of which will be here in Alberta. So it will definitely be felt quite heavily in the province. And where would these jobs go? Would they disappear completely or go to the U.S. or overseas? So these jobs, these Canadian jobs, either will be lost or won't be created here, meaning that the folks that would have uh, been in these jobs will be unemployed or forced to find work in other less well-paying sectors. The oil and gas sector pays about two and a half times the average Canadian wage. So this is a, you know, quite a well-paying sector. Uh, and as global demand for oil and gas resources is not expected to decline, these jobs will be creeping up and cropping up in other countries to meet that growing demand. So we will be left kind of holding the bag on that. And what other economic impacts could we expect to see from this plan, specifically here in Alberta? Here in Alberta, our economy will shrink, um, meaning there's going to be less disposable income for households. Um, but also one of the big ones is government revenue. So the, um, the, the taxes and royalties that go towards government revenue to spend to pay for the programs and government services that we all rely on, that will take a huge hit. And so it won't just be Albertans that feel that. Um, all provinces that rely on equalization uh, will also feel that due to the loss of government revenue on our end as well. That was Crystal Wittevrangel, the Director of Research at the Montreal Economic Institute, who joined us from Calgary.